A steel stitch is similar to a satin stitch. The difference is the width is uniformly even. The points are placed like a running stitch with the width adjusted under the steel stitch setting. We're going to select the steel stitch icon and the straight line tool. It takes two points to create a straight line, so we're going to left click our first point and then left click our second point, right click to finish. To create a steel stitch with an arc line, we're going to select the steel stitch tool and the arc line icon. It takes three points to create an arc line. We're going to left click our first point, left click our second point to form the arc, and then left click our third point, right click to finish. Now we're going to create a steel stitch with a bezier line tool. We're going to left click our first point, left click our second point, left click our third point, right click to finish. We're going to turn on the wireframe and again we can see our handles to make any adjustments. Under the settings menu you can make adjustments to the steel stitch setting. You can change the stitch width, the density, the fill type to zigzag or pattern fill, the stitch length. You can close an open border, short stitches. We have miter corners or cap corners. You check this box for applique. You can have random edges, which is jagged edges. Underlay, which your choices are center walk, edge walk, or narrow zigzag. You can choose a split satin if you have a very wide satin stitch. And you can also make adjustments for pull compensation. Once you make all the changes here, you click OK. Now we're going to select a steel stitch and a preset shape. We're going to click on the small arrow and we're going to select the oval shape. And then we're going to click and drag to form our shape. Release your finger from the mouse button and you have a steel stitch and an oval shape. If you select this shape and then right click and then go into the steel stitch properties, if you check the applique box, you can take that oval and turn it into an applique. And what the applique does is it sets a series of stitches. If we go to display, slow draw, and then hit refresh or F5 on your keyboard. It will begin showing you the, the steps. It's going to place a series of running stitches, which is the placement line. Then another running stitch around for the tack down. Then it's going to place a series of zigzag stitches to hold that tack down in place. And then it's going to finish it off with a satin stitch.